Nubia Rizzo is the founder of Rizzo Hair Salon. From Puerto Rico to Egypt, she has style textured hair across the world. The stylist believes all hair textures should be respected. So when it comes to my customers, see how their life changes. See how that they could sit in your chair and be comfortable. And the biggest gift that it will never leave my heart when I'm working behind a chair and see them how good they love the person that is reflected in that mirror. Nubia saw that there was a lack of inclusivity in the hair industry. It's still we're not there where we needed to be when it comes to education for texture hair in beauty schools, learning, understanding the beauty and the necessities of a gray haircut. What is the hair? What is the different textures? What are the needs? Sakina Sabinu, a college student, had experiences navigating the beauty world with her hair. Try to find a hair salon that caters to the textured hair in the tri-state area is very difficult. I actually haven't gotten my first haircut until recently. And to be honest, I'm actually not that happy with it. Even though it was supposed to be a salon that catered to the textured hair. Dr. Crystal Fleming, a professor of sociology and Africana studies at Stony Brook University and author of How to Be Less Stupid About Race, explains the root of textured hair exclusion in cosmetology schools is due to racial hierarchies. The word Caucasian, when it was first defined, was defined as the most beautiful race. And so what we've seen is that despite the fact that people of color and Black people are the world's majority, we're systematically excluded and devalued in a lot of Western educational settings, including in cosmetology schools. Before pandemic, my salon in Jersey, we were seeing over a thousand new customers per week. It was like the best disco in town, but also very stressful because it was a lot of people because we were the only base salon that people were coming from all over the world. Dr. Fleming says having autonomy over one's body is a form of empowerment when black bodies have been historically policed. If black characteristics are not valued, the hair industry will continue to be segregated. So it's about the way that our bodies and our appearance have been misrepresented, despite the fact that, again, where do people come from? The African continent. So again, our hair textures, our physical features are normal. And we need to, in order to be able to account for our increasingly diverse society, we have to have educators and we have to have schools and institutions that acknowledge that and prepare future professionals. New York recently passed Senate Bill 6528. Governor Kathy Hochul signed the bill on November 17th into law. The legislation aims to equip hair stylists to work with all hair types. It requires cosmetology exams to include textured hair education, making it part of their curriculum. Regarding the passing of the Senate bill in New York, for future generations, I want them to be able to avoid systemic exclusion and instead be included. I want to be able to walk down the avenues. I want to be able to look in the windows and say, oh, that woman can do my hair. Cosmetology schools had six months since November to change their curriculum. This is to ensure students can pass updated exams for licensure. However, hair inclusion has been nothing new to Nubia since starting the Rizzo Academy in 2016. I saw the necessity that people were asking me, how do you make the haircut? Or how do you make that shape to look? And that's when I opened the Academy, teaching stylists all over the world. They wanted to embrace texture education. One doesn't have to always express their natural hair to love themselves, but there is power in having the choice in expressing it. To feel confident in the hairstylist that is doing one's hair no matter the hairstyle one is trying to achieve. You know, your hair is not bad, but that doesn't mean like we have used it in the past to feel more beautiful, to be more professional. No, I just did it because I'm gonna change the look today. Loving the texture hair is just changing the texture in any way you wanted to wear it. Natural hair representation has improved since it went mainstream through social media platforms. As for Nubia, she explains what her future looks like as a hair salon owner and stylist. I'm going to leave a, a true legacy for all the new generations that are going to come in in texture hair. To know that they will be able to come into any salon and they're going to be welcome and celebrate. That's my future. Every salon is going to celebrate texture hair. This is Lenny Salavache reporting for NBC New York.